This short video will teach you the basics of electron beam lithography. Lithography is a word that comes from ancient Greek, meaning printing with stones. With this technique, a stamp is made by carving a pattern into a stone. The stone is then coated in ink and pressed onto a substrate, such as paper. Similar methods are used when making small microscale devices, where a pattern needs to be made repeatedly on wafers. The two methods used are called electron beam lithography and photolithography. EBL uses electrons to print while photolithography uses light. Both methods use an organic material called a resist, which is sensitive either to electrons or light depending on the material used. A thin coat of this resist is applied to the substrate. In photolithography, the resist is exposed to light through a patterned mask that has been transferred onto the substrate. Wherever the mask allows light to reach the resist, a chemical reaction occurs, in which large resist molecules are broken down into smaller molecules. After exposure, the next step is called developing. The area of the resist that has been exposed to light is removed by immersing the wafer in an organic solvent. The solvent dissolves only the small molecules that were produced during the exposure to light. Finally, the pattern is transferred onto the substrate using one of two available methods. Method one is etching, in which substrate is chemically removed from the pattern area that is not coated in resist. After etching, the remaining resist is removed, revealing the pattern etched into the substrate surface. Method two is the liftoff technique in which a metal layer is deposited over the whole of the wafer. The resist is then removed, taking the metal layer with it. The only area that now has a metal coating is the desired pattern, where the resist had previously been removed in the developing step. Electron beam lithography uses the same process scheme, but a focused electron beam is used for exposure. The beam is accurately directed to positions on the wafer to form the pattern. The electron beam exposes the pattern dot by dot and line by line, which can be more time-consuming than photolithography. However, it is a more flexible system and does not require expensive masks. The focused electron beam also allows feature sizes below 10 nanometers to be generated. Common applications for EBL are rapid prototyping, small batch production, where electron beam lithography and photolithography are used in conjunction as well as the fabrication of masks and imprint templates.